Jason Tatum, Lisa Salters there. Tim Legler here. We'll he hear from Steve Kerr here in just a moment, who did say the Steph Curry situation, no injury there, so that's good news for Golden State. And, and there are a number of good news for Golden State in this game in a lot yeah. of ways, right? You get Steph for 30-plus. You get Clay go for 25 plus. You get the third quarter barrage. That's a, that's a recipe that a lot of times works. It didn't in this game. They get overwhelmed physically by the Celtics yeah. uh, it, for most of the game. What was the biggest issue for Golden State? The physical aspect of the game was too much for Golden State tonight. Look, they got doubled up on second chance points. They got doubled up on points in the paint. I'm sure they got doubled up on loose balls, but none of those are great touch screens. They also got <laughs> doubled up by not being able to contain the basketball right. off the dribble. It was straight line dribble drive all night. This one kind of fast me. This is toward the end of the first half. Marcus Smart backs this thing out. And Scott, this isn't even one of their primary scores. He's pointing over here at his guys. And basically what he is saying is, you three guys over here on the weak side of the floor, just get out of the way because I want to operate against Otto Porter. And if you're right now, if you're Andrew Wiggins and you're on the strong side corner, you cannot leave Jalen Brown here. So you've got to communicate right now to Otto Porter. And you've got to tell him, you've got to get up here on his high side. And this basketball has got to come None of this stuff's working, by the way. That's a complete failure on the touch screen. None of, none of this stuff is working. But you got to get out of port up here in the high side, Scott. And you've got to force this ball to come here where all of your traffic is. Right? He doesn't allow that to happen. Watch. Marcus Smart just puts his head down from 42 feet out and just goes straight line dribble drive all the way to the rim. And this was pretty much symptomatic of the entire first half. Same thing here. And this is a critical time. Golden State makes their run. They get it to nine points. And again, Jason Tatum's at 40 feet from the basket. And he is just going to make up his mind, win this, get to the lane, knowing that Klay Thompson cannot leave strong side corner. He's got to stay with Jalen Brown. The first resistance he hits is here inside the dotted line. It's Draymond Green, who is not a shot blocker. He's back here trying to draw charges. Jason Tatum just puts his head down, gets to the rim, no physical contact. And to me, when I watched them in the first half operate, it was basically whoever got the ball saw a matchup in front of them, they were going straight line at that guy, knowing they were going to get anywhere they wanted to on the floor. If they did finally give help, they kicked out, they made a couple of threes. But for me, it was just simply winning that matchup that was in front of you. Golden State was terrible containing the basketball and then the other physical components of the game, keeping them off the glass and getting on the floor for loose balls. Mm -hmm. They didn't win those either. This was not a great night for Golden State from a physical standpoint. Yeah, and it wasn't like they were hunting a switch and they were going to try to run a ball screen. They just would clear out, to yeah. your point, and attack. And then when they'd miss, whether it was Horford or Williams, you just saw Golden State get bullied at the, underneath the rim. And on a night where a lot of things Golden State typically does that equals a win to get bullied in that fashion, you never want to overstate just one game. But I just I wonder the, the residuals of this for Boston carry on really well if they're able to replicate them. Yeah, they look they, Golden State tonight just looks small and inadequate. And I just wonder with Steve Kerr, what he's going to do. Maybe you go to a Kaminga. Poole right now is not giving you anything offensively, and he's not doing the job defensively. Get bigger. Get more athletic. I think there are some things you can do off the dribble. And if Boston makes threes in the next game because you're so concerned about controlling the paint defensively, then so be it. You're not beating this team anyway if they're going to make 15, 20 threes. But they've got to do a much better job of keeping the ball out of the lane off the initial dribble drive penetration. They got in foul trouble. It's also hurt. It makes guys tentative to want to stay in front. But some of that's their own doing. They were ill-advised fouls of Steph Curry, Draymond Green a couple different times tonight. They hurt themselves yep. putting them in, themselves in that position. Draymond fouls out. He had two points and four rebounds. Look, we know he gives them so yeah. much, but on this night, you're looking in this box score, and he, he gave them nothing. He's got a lot of space offensively when they're chasing Clay and Steph around. When those guys are hitting and the defense gets extended, Draymond Green has a lot of space to operate to go make plays. You can't give them two points from that spot when they are now extending that much to guard Steph and Clay. It's that simple. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.